Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down another big storm that'll be coming to the United States by the end of this week and this storm is going to bring more severe weather to much of the Great Plains the Midwest even the Ohio Valley and even maybe the lower Mississippi Valley will get in on the threat for some severe weather this includes damaging winds large hail and as well as tornadoes additionally we will have warmer weather returning to much of the country over the next several days after we just had this cold blast across much of the country this weekend. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin first with what's happening right now in the United States today that'll lead to that large storm later in the week and right now it's actually really quiet across much of the Great Plains. It's really fantastic weather even in the Midwest. Make sure to get outdoors. You really can't get better weather than this. We have high temperatures today that reach the 60s and a few 50s even back up in the Midwest but overall really perfect weather and that will also continue tomorrow with many areas in the 60s and 70s with plenty of sunshine the only exception to the beautiful weather right now in the United States is on the East Coast and that is where we still have a disturbance ongoing that is actually bringing some pretty large thunderstorms and probably some water spouts offshore just east of North Carolina if you know any fish in that area make sure to share this video with them and give them a heads up because there's definitely some big thunderstorms happening there. Uh, otherwise, though, really on the East Coast, things are going to continue to stay active for the next several hours, and by tomorrow, things will start to dry up unless you're back down in Florida, where there might be a couple of isolated severe storms. And then back over in the Northwest United States, actually back up in Canada, we do have a small disturbance that's north of Montana. This will actually bring some showers into parts of the Midwest and the Northern Plains, both Monday and Tuesday, but overall, it's not too concerning for this time of the year. Now, the temperatures for the next few days unfortunately are going to warm back up that large cold air mass will be sitting across the east coast and the southeast as we go into tomorrow morning but once we go into Tuesday that warmer air starts to return for the most part maybe slightly below average temperatures if you're in the Great Lakes region or the northeast as we go into Wednesday and Thursday but that warm air mass will start to build back in with that next storm that we'll have which will have a strong southerly wind coming out of the Gulf of Mexico and that will eventually lead to that next threat for severe weather. So for Monday, high temperatures look fantastic. Many areas will be in the 70s and 80s. Things will cool down back in Florida where we had some record-breaking high temperatures on Saturday with many areas in the 70s and 80s. The warmest area really of the country will actually be in Arizona and Eastern California where many areas will get close to 100 degrees. Meanwhile, Northern Maine will have high temperatures in the low 30s. Fantastic. <laughs> really big difference across much of the United States. All right, let's talk more about that severe weather potential as we head into late later this upcoming week because we have multiple days of severe weather that we are going to be talking about. Now, the Storm Prediction Center only has a risk outline for both Thursday, which is tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday, and as well as flying fences Friday, but there is a high likelihood that we will have severe weather as well on Saturday and Sunday, perhaps even Monday and Tuesday of the following week, so I do think it's going to get very active by the end of this month and as well as into early May. For Thursday, the Storm Prediction Center has outlined a slight risk for severe weather from Kansas into western Oklahoma and as well as north central Texas. This is a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale, so a low to medium risk for the time being. And I honestly think Thursday is probably not going to be super concerning, but damaging winds, large hail, and maybe even a couple of tornadoes will be possible. I do think things get much more concerning by Friday, though. And this will include areas like the Midwest, like Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, back into East eastern Nebraska, Kansas, and as well as north and eastern parts of Oklahoma are currently included in another slight risk for severe weather, which again is a 2 out of 5 on the severe weather scale. I do think there's a much better shot here of damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes on Friday, so definitely watch this very closely, and as I've mentioned in the previous forecast, we are still 5 to 6 days out, so the exact details of how much severe weather we see, the most significant area of severe weather, and the exact timing still remains uncertain, but we can at least show you a broad sense of things with what we'll see in terms of damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes, and also exactly when these storms might happen. We'll at least give you a broad idea of that here in just a moment.
Before we go into the severe weather timing and the details on what you can expect, I did want to show you an experimental tool which is for severe weather outlooks called the CIPS. This is an analog based severe weather probability guidance and essentially what this will show you for both Saturday and Sunday is where we might see severe weather. Since the Storm Prediction Center hasn't officially issued any sort of outlook, this at least gives you an idea of where we might see some severe weather. So you'll notice that overall the majority of where we might see severe weather on Saturday would basically be any Anywhere in the southern plains like Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas, pretty similar to what we're going to see most likely on Thursday anyway, and it also shows a lower probability from the Mississippi Valley back into areas like the Midwest. Now, if we jump into Sunday, which would be further down the road here, obviously we're over a week out, so things easily are going to change for both Saturday and Sunday, which is hence why the Storm Prediction Center has not issued an outlook. They do show that there will at least be some low-level threat of severe weather across the southern and central plains, back through the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, but keep in mind this is subject to change. I just wanted to show you this just in case you were wondering where the severe weather may be on either one of those days. On With all that being said, let's talk more about the severe weather timing in addition to where I expect the greatest threat of severe weather beginning Thursday all the way through Sunday. But I do want to begin first with what's happening at the beginning of this week, which begins with Monday. Overall, high pressure will be dominating most of the United States. If you have any plans to do anything either today, tomorrow, or even going to Tuesday or Wednesday, I would highly recommend getting Getting things done at the beginning of the week if there's any outdoor activities as weather will be pretty great across most of the country the only exception to this will be really the midwest primarily and maybe the central plains where there'll be some showers monday into tuesday from a small disturbance that'll roll through those areas and eventually it'll get a little bit more active in the northeast by wednesday with maybe even a little bit more snowfall in the northern parts of new england by the time we go into late wednesday into thursday we may get a low-end threat for severe weather in oklahoma or arkansas the main concern overall would be large hail if there's any sort of severe weather that happens then. Thursday afternoon, a few more storms, maybe even into the evening, we might get a few robust supercells that produce mainly a hail and wind risk, but maybe an isolated tornado. By Friday, this strong low pressure system will evolve after moving over the Rocky Mountains, and this will become a pretty dynamic storm with all modes of severe weather being possible across a pretty large area, anywhere from Iowa as well as Illinois back into areas like the Southern Plains. Damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes, all possible. I do think the greatest threat will be during the evening, especially in this area here from Iowa back into Missouri, where there will be a threat probably at least for a couple of tornadoes, but maybe even a few tornadoes. By Saturday morning, storms roll into the Ohio Valley where there might be some isolated severe weather, but a better shot of severe weather will exist going into Saturday evening. This will stretch from the Midwest areas like Michigan back into Texas where damaging winds, large hail, and maybe even a couple more tornadoes will be possible. By the time we go into Sunday morning, some more storm activity again across the central and southern plains. By Sunday night we'll probably have another round of severe weather from Texas back into Wisconsin and then by the time we go into Monday there will be another shot for storms but this one's probably going to be more isolated in nature anywhere maybe from the Ohio Valley back into the lower Mississippi Valley. I do think it's going to be a much more isolated threat of severe weather by Monday and then by Tuesday and Wednesday things should quiet down but it might ramp up again if we get another large scale trough like the European model is showing by Wednesday but granted that is still well over 10 days out so things are definitely going to change between now and then just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll be keeping you posted with the latest as we get closer to the severe weather event.